Hey good people, my name is Craig, hoping you are here for some Qigong. This is the Tuesday night 6pm class presented by Torvo. Qigong is happening right now. So we're about to jump into that, but for those who are new to Qigong, let me give a quick introduction. Qigong is an ancient Chinese wellness, health, energy practice that existed for thousands of years. It's a great practice to relax, tune into your body. It can be used as a mindfulness practice and a way to get in touch with your energy and internal healing and medicine. For a breakdown of Qigong, the term itself, Qi, Q-I, means energy, life force energy. Gong, G-O-N-G, means to cultivate, to work with. So Qigong, by definition, means to work with your life force energy. So that's what we'll be doing tonight. So thanks again for joining me. As I like to recommend, this is just a practice. It's more like play. So, and trusting yourself. So, do what feels comfortable for you. If you're following me, you don't have to follow me exactly. Go at your own pace. Modify the movements. We all have different body types and lung capacities. Take care of yourself as you're doing these gestures. And if there's anything that does not feel right, stop and take care of yourself. This is what we do Qigong for. For the healing, for the relaxation. We're taking this time for ourselves. These, these times are pretty stressful, so we can always use an opportunity to decompress, take care of ourselves by tuning into our, our body and what we need in these moments. So I'm gonna jump into starting this class and making this, these good times happen. So thanks again for participating and joining me. So, to start class, this Qigong class, I'm going to align what is known in Qigong as the three treasures. The three treasures are body, breath, and mind. We will align these three treasures so we can get the most out of our Qigong practice. As always, and I'll repeat this many times throughout the practice, trust yourself, trust what works for you. So anything I offer or say is just a recommendation. You know what works best for you, you know what you need. And always, you can try it, and if you do not like how it feels, Find something comfortable for you. So let's begin. You can bring both feet together. Just noticing our posture. Noticing our connection to the ground. Using this time to orient ourselves. Noticing our environment. Looking right. Looking left up and down, bringing our awareness to our current environment. Noticing your breath, your heartbeat, how your feet, or if you're seated, because you can do this practice sitting down, how you are connected to this planet right now. These are all many exercises to bring us into the present moment. Let's shift our weight to left foot, step out with the right. So our feet are now shoulder width apart. That feels good. And let's begin aligning the body. So again, notice your connection to the ground. To this planet. Weight can be distributed evenly 
between both feet and throughout the foot. So noticing how the corners of each foot is connected to the ground. Then checking in with your knees. Knees can be soft with a slight bend. If it helps, you can lock. Then gently unlock your knees. The tailbone is tucked underneath the spine. This balances the pelvis. Chest is open. Arms are relaxed. Slight bend in the elbows. Palms can be open. Fingers can be spread apart. Noticing how that feels. Let's check in with the neck and the shoulders. We carry a lot of tension there. So if you'd like to engage in any shoulder or neck exercises that stretch or release tension, you can do that now. I always suggest doing neck rotations and shoulder rolls and shrugs. So I'll do a couple myself. I'm gonna do neck rotations. Allowing my nose to lead the movement. Rotating the neck in one direction. Gently. Then reversing, going in the other direction. And returning to center. I'll do some exercises for the shoulder. Like doing some shrugs, so inhale, shrug your shoulders up, exhale, release. You can sigh if that feels good. I'll do that two more times. Do one more time. Now let's finish aligning the body, checking in. With the head, head is over the spine, over the heart. Spine is upright. And you can imagine if there's a string coming down from the ceiling, the sky, that pulls us straight up. Checking in with the face. Checking in with the brow and the jaw. Noticing if there's tension there. Just being mindful of it. If you can release that tension, that's great, but just bring kind and positive attention to those areas. And now that we have aligned the body, let's align the breath. In this Qigong practice, we do what is known as diaphragmatic breathing, belly breathing, also known as Dantian breathing in reference to Dantian, an energy center that's in the lower abdomen. So let's bring our hand to our abdomen. And as we inhale, feel the abdomen expand. Exhale, abdomen soften. The idea behind belly breathing is that as you take deeper breaths that, that cause our belly to expand, this stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. Shorter breaths, then the chest, upper chest area tend to stimulate a stress response. But again, do what feels good for you. Stick with the pattern of breathing that allows you to feel relaxed for this practice. Lastly, we're going to align the mind. In Qigong, the mind is a key component. So where our mind goes, the chi flows. So whatever you're paying attention to, that's where your energy, your healing energy will go. So let's try to make an intention that sounds good with you.
to be in the present moment. Whether that is checking in with what's happening inside your body or what's happening in your environment. Being anchored to the present moment. Shifting away from narrative and story. Listening to our self, our heart, whatever else you connect with in this moment. We can set the intention to be in this present moment with a little gesture. So let's bring up the left hand in recognition of the past. Bring up the right hand in recognition of the future. Palms are turned up. Just noticing what do you feel in each hand. No worries, you don't feel anything. It's just a gesture, it's just an exercise. And let's bring the hands close together, but not touching. And now we have a space between the hands. This will represent the present. This is where you want to be throughout the entire practice, or try to be. The mind likes to think, and the mind is good at thinking, and that's okay. That's what a mind does. You can be kind and appreciate it for thinking, thinking about the past, thinking about the future, but let's take time to come back to now. Because that's where we have our power, that's where we have our agency, that's where we have our healing. So, look into your hands, set that intention, light hands to slow down. We're gonna move into some Qigong. And I'm gonna turn on some music to have some background. And we'll begin in just a moment. Next scene. I'll turn on that music later. So let's begin the practice. Let's start with full body breathing. Inhaling the hands, the hands that are relaxed down by the side, we're gonna inhale the hands up and from the body. And exhale the hands down by the side. And we start this movement again, inhale hands up. Pace and speed. Reverse this movement. I'm going to try and do this class. I don't say too much. Just allow you to flow. So inhale the hands up by the sides. And exhale the hands down from the body. Palms turned down. So inhale the hands up by the sides. Exhale the hands down, noticing how that feels. Let's do this gesture one more time. And then we'll 
we'll transition to our next movement. It should be a long opening movement. When you find your hands flowing down, just have them relaxed by your sides, but then we'll bring our hands in front of our lower abdomen, belly area. So palms are going to be turned up, fingers are going to be turned toward each other. This is a long opening exercise, and we will begin doing this gesture. So what you will do is inhale your hands up in front of the torso to the heart, turning the palms over, exhaling, allowing the hands to flow down. Turning palms over, exhaling, allowing the hands to flow down again. Noticing what you feel in your breath, your hands, noticing a connection to the ground. Bring your awareness into this moment. Whether that's anchoring with your senses, your body sensations, or visualization. Do this gesture one more time. And we'll transition into the next gesture, which is a heart opening gesture. So you're gonna inhale your hands back up to the heart. Then you're gonna bring your hands together as if you're holding up a ball. So the palms are turned up, they're still facing each other. And again, whatever you, you imagine, whatever you sense and feel, what are you connecting to in this moment? So we're going to extend the hands out, slight bend the elbows, and let's begin this next gesture, the heart opening gesture. And we will inhale, allow our hands to spread open apart, looking up, feel the stretch in our chest. Exhale, look forward, relax. Allow the hands to flow back. Close together, but not touching. So let's restart. Inhale, open up. Exhale. Relax. Look forward. Inhale. Expand. Exhale. Bring your hands back close together. Let's do this a few more times. One more time. Bring your hands close together. And now we'll transition to the next gesture. And we'll do so by turning palms for ourselves. So palms are facing torso, fingers are turned toward each other, a little space in between. We're going to inhale the hands in and exhale, allow the hands to trace over the torso, flowing down the body. And now we will turn our palms, swivel our hands around. So we're going to inhale our palms up and out to shoulder height. 
Then 10, our palms over. Exhale, allow the hands to flow down. Let the hands flow down a little bit past the body. And now we turn and we start the movement. We turn the hands, palms upwards. Inhale. Exhale. Palms flow down. Relax. in this moment right now. Can you, can you bring your attention back to now? If you have found yourself thinking, illuminating. This gesture has many variations, so I'll start incorporating them. But there's no obligation to do any of the variations, they're just suggestions. Stick with what works for you. So when you find yourself exhaling a lot and the hands flow down, see if it feels right to sink down, adding a slight bend in the knees and the hips, getting close to the earth. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, sink. Another variation involves massaging the bottom of the feet. Next time you find your hands flowing down, see if you can shift the weight to the back of the feet, the heels, while keeping the feet planted on the ground. Inhale, shifting the weight to the front of the foot. Exhale, shift the weight to the back. Again, feet are planted on the ground. Just shifting the weight on the feet forward and back. If you want to make this more of a balanced practice, you can, as you inhale, rise up onto your toes, lift the heels up. Turning palms over, exhaling, toes come back. I mean, heels come back to earth. Lifting up the toes as the weight goes into the heels. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Heels lift off the ground. Exhale, lifting up the toes. Weight is in the heels of each foot. No worries if you stumble, it's just a practice. Do what feels good for you. We'll move into the next variation where you bring the feet together. So inhale, bring left foot to right. Exhale, left foot steps apart from the right foot. Inhale, right to left. Exhale, right steps away. So inhale. Exhale, feet step apart. Inhale, right steps next to. Exhale, right steps away. And 
if you like, you can make this a balance practice as you're inhaling, bringing the right foot to step next to the left. You can actually bring the foot up. See how that feels. Exhale. Bring that foot back down. Inhale. Lift the left foot. Exhale. Bring it back to the ground. Again, this is your practice. This might be a bit too much. You can try posting, having the feet post, lifting the heel off the ground, but keeping some weight in the toes. What feels good for you in this moment? Do this two more times, one pass to each side. Allow the hands to slow down, relax by the side. Just noticing. Noticing how you feel in this moment. Bring your hand to your heart, your chest, checking in with your heartbeat. Bring your hand to your abdomen, checking in with the abdomen or the breath. Or whatever else that would feel good for you. We'll move into our next gesture, which is shaking Qigong. You will allow your hands to flow down and transition into shaking, which is just trembling, vibrating, shaking the body to release tension and stress and stored energy in the body. And for those of you who already know this practice, you can jump right into it. But for those who are new, you can just start shaking your hands, your wrists, and then let that shaking travel through the arms. Then move to the shoulders, the upper torso, then let, move into the hips, and then through the legs, the heels, the feet, but really whatever feels comfortable for you. For some, it might just be comfortable to just be, or just to shake your hands. For others, they can go and do a full out dance or just jump it side to side. Or just pumping up the heels. Whatever allows you to release stress, connect with your body, be in this moment. for a couple of moments. For those who like to release stress audibly, I know me I know you normally do blithering breaths. I'm not really going to incorporate that in this practice. I'm just gonna do some size. And I'll do three sides. Sighing is just a great way to reset the nervous system. Again, another way to release stress audibly. So when I say inhale, take in some air. Then as you exhale, you can sigh. If that feels good for you. I'll 
do for you for myself. In him? <sighs> I'll do two more. In him? Shaking practice was just moving the arms around, shaking in different directions. So reaching the arms out to the side, shaking out to the side. See how that feels. Reaching my hands overhead, reaching up to the sky. How does that feel? Reaching my hands out the front. Reaching forward. Reaching hands up behind us and back of us. If it feels comfortable for you, getting closer to the ground. We'll shake for 10 more seconds, but let's begin slowing down. Returning to some stillness. We'll take this time as an opportunity to check in with ourselves. Turn inwards, notice how we feel, what we feel. Being with ourselves in this present moment. If it feels good, give me a hand. Your heart, abdomen, Wherever else feels good or needs some healing. Shaking moves around. Energy brings up sensations. See what you notice as you turn your words. No worries if you don't notice anything. It's about being here. Shifting away from thought. Tuning in to our body's wisdom and healing. Trusting that you know what you need. Because it's inside. Taking time to listen. Let's move into the second half of this Qigong practice, doing some flowing exercises, some movements to relax, to cultivate that healing energy. So I'm actually going to start this movement with a movement I usually end the practice with, but feeling called to start the second half of the practice with some clearing. It involves hands and arms relaxed down by the side of the body. We're just going to inhale, turn the palms up. Inhale, hands up. Over the top of the head, and turn the palms down. Exhale. Allow hands to float down in front of the body. Let's do that four more times. Inhale, palms turn up. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Then turn the palms over towards yourselves. Exhale, allow the hands to flow down from the body. Three more times at your own pace.
Now we'll transition to the next gesture. The movement called separating clouds, a favorite of mine. I seem to incorporate this movement to most of my classes. This movement is very similar to the movement we just did clearing, except we'll cross the hands from the torso. We'll inhale hands up. Then we'll exhale, separate the hands as if we're separating clouds. And allow the hands to flow down. And now we'll start the movement. Allow the hands to cross and inhale. Exhale, separate the hands, separate the clouds, hands release, and if you feel called to it, you can add sinking. Sink as you allow your hands to flow down. Inhale, rise back up. Let's do this a few more times. Again, transition to the next gesture. But we'll just allow the hands to flow down, be relaxed down by the side. And we'll move into some spinal twisting, also known as knocking on the temple gong. And we'll begin this gesture by allowing the hands to just be relaxed down by the side and leading with the torso, twisting at the waist. So just turn left, turn right. Arms are trailing by the side. In a moment, We'll bring each hand to gently tap. So you can bring the front hand to tap the lower abdomen, the back hand to tap the lower back, like so. This gesture warms up the spine. Noticing how you feel. If there are any other parts of your body you feel called to tap, you can go for it. Feel called to tap the lungs and the chest area for myself. And breathing is natural and spontaneous. Transitioning to the next gesture. So I'll begin tapping lower abdomen, lower back again. And if you are tapping your body, just let the hands flow freely. And be 
before we end this exercise, just turn the palms to their facing the ground and just imagine you're tracing water for a moment. Noticing how that feels. So still engaging in that spinal twister, keeping the feet planted on the ground, but imagine you're tracing the hand over water. How does that feel? What do you feel? Doing this two more times. Then allowing the hands to flow down by the sides, returning to center. And then just again checking in with yourself, noticing how you feel. Checking in with your feet, your knees, your joints, whether that's your wrists, your shoulders. Making sure the spine is upright. If there's tension anywhere, being mindful and kind to it, or if you're able to, release and soften. We're going to move into our next gesture, another cloud-based gesture. This one is separate, or not separating clouds, but parting clouds. And it can be done in several ways, but the way I will do it is taking a step out with the right foot, So the feet are in railroad tracks, and we can begin shifting forward and back. Whatever feels comfortable, whatever allows you to keep the knee from going over the foot. And as we shift to the back foot, which is the left foot, bring up the hands. Straight from about the waist. Exhale. Extend arms out, press out, shifting forward. Inhale, shifting back. Bring hands back from the waist. Exhale. Press out, inhale, circle hands back. Shift back. Exhale, shift forward. Press out forward, inhale, circle hands back. Do what is comfortable for you. For those who are seated. Shifting forward and backward. Or for those who are standing, that's not necessary either. Do what feels comfortable for you. Let's do this gesture two more times from this side. Bringing in the right foot, and we'll step out a bit. Left foot, shifting forward and backward. And then let's begin. Starting from the right foot, exhale, spread out the arms, shifting forward, inhale, shifting back, circling the hands back to the waist, exhale. Press up and out, inhale, circle back. Parting clouds. Do this two more times.
bringing left foot back in, align, the hands float down, and just notice it, change this into the next gesture called pushing, pushing the chi, this gesture actually comes from Jeffrey Chan of Think Qigong, fan of his YouTube channel and his work, recommend check them out. I'll incorporate one of his moves into this practice. So with pushing the chi, we're going to start the hands relax down by the side, the palms are facing out. We're going to bend the elbows, inhale the hands up, shoulder height, arms turn in. Exhale, press palms up, release the hands. Okay, palms up, inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, press the hands up, release. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands press out. Continue to let them release. Do this two more times. Then I'll add a variation. We'll do one hand at a time, but this time we'll pu pu push out away from the body. So with our left hand, we'll inhale that up. Push towards the right. Allow it to flow down. So inhale the right hand up. Press out to the left. Allow it to flow down. So inhale the hand up. Exhale, press out. Relax, flow down. Inhale up, exhale out, release, relax. Do this practice two more times, one for each hand. Inhale, hand up. Exhale, press out. Release, relax. Inhale, hand up. Exhale, out. release. Again, the hands are relaxed down by the side. Noticing how you feel, noticing what you feel. Noticing where your awareness is, where your attention is going to. We have about 10 minutes left of class. I have a few more gestures for you. We'll do incorporate an exercise from the animal frolics. Do some, do a bear gesture. So if you like, you can take a variety of stance, take a slight bend, 
knees. It's like a bear. Bear is a strong connection to the earth. Strong center of gravity. So feel that strength. What we'll do now is we'll lift up our hands up as if we're carrying plates, like as if we're serving people at a restaurant. So palms are turned up, bend the elbows. And this gesture is called bear turn. So we're going to inhale, exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, turn right. 